Hey, second graders. Um, so after our class today, when we were talking about how, or really actually getting getting into building our pop art sculptures from all the recycled things around our house and the bag of stuff I sent you home, um, I got building and um, sometimes it's really good to, you know, I think I always do that. I, I make a lesson before I teach it. Um, and I just think we are all at this like point today where I'd say most of you have a pretty good idea and really started putting it together today. And with just this junk. <laughs> um, so I wanted to show you what I made and then I wanted to show you just basically how I constructed it because I think that that can really help you um, when you wanna go back to this. So um, like for example, I was talking after class with um, a couple of kiddos that had some questions. And then we started thinking, I, I was so, remember I was telling you I was so hungry. So I started like, I changed my toothbrush sculpture idea into a cheeseburger. I started making my hamburger bun. I'm gonna show you the rest of it too. But then I started thinking about like a mug of hot chocolate. Um, somebody, one of you had like giant marshmallows. So I was like, hmm, that would be fun to do. And look, by curving my cardboard, adding a circle for the bottom and the scrap cardboard underneath with aluminum foil, like made this fancy handle. And then I thought like, ooh, I'm gonna build marshmallows, but like maybe out of cotton balls or something else after. But I wanted to show you just like the way I got this cardboard to go into a circle. Um, I know a few of you are going to need a circle to make your sculpture. So here's something I put together um, during one of my meetings. And um, I just wanted you to see what I did and how I did it. Okay. So I'm trying to move this thing right here. So hopefully you can see me still see what I was making. And I also want you to see the pieces that are coming together for my cheeseburger because I'm still hungry because I haven't had lunch yet. So you saw me basically crumple up a bunch of newspaper that I sent home to you. And like we always start pinch pots and things like that, I made a meatball of newspaper, but this time I wrapped it in that masking tape I sent you. And I really wanted to make the bottom of it flat because a hamburger bun is like a half circle. So hopefully you can see that. You know, it's made of newspaper. Of course, it's gonna like be a hamburger bun that probably looks like it's made of newspaper. Um, I will paint this the color of a hamburger bun and put sesame seeds on it and everything. That'll be really fun to do. But anyway, I wanted to show you a couple other little tricks. So I said I was gonna put lettuce and tomato and cheese on here, so Ta-da! I cut a circle from cardboard. I'm gonna show you this. I actually, no, I don't wanna open it yet. And I cut the edges. I snipped a little bit in the edges, folded it down, you know, and I really kind of like knocked it into place, into shape. And this is gonna be a tomato, a slice of tomato, because when you cut a tomato, it's not like flat, like a paper tomato. Like there's a, you decide how thick you want it to be. Like, and I love tomato. So here we go. There's a tomato, okay? Um, I also love bacon. So I took some cardboard. I cut out what to me I thought looked like pieces of bacon. And then I roughed up the cardboard. I started squishing and bending it because I realized when I paint it to look like real bacon, bacon is not like flat and stiff. It's all like it bubbles in the pan and it gets all yummy and crinkly and bubbly. So I wanted that bacon to look real, right? We're trying to recreate something that everybody would recognize, which is pop art. So I have my bun, I have my tomato, I have my bacon, and then I took some bubble wrap and I'm not sure I even necessarily needed to use the bubble wrap, but I cut it in this circle and then I wrapped it up in aluminum foil and I crumpled it, which actually feels really cool. It's like squishy foil. And then when I unwrapped it and just started kind of like playing with the edges of the foil, 
I might have pushed this too far at this point. I started to see like this could be lettuce. I don't know about you guys, but I love when there's a crunchy piece of lettuce in my sandwiches, especially on a burger. So I thought, hey, you know, um, bubble wrap has a really fun texture. Lettuce is all bumpy and all that. So like this is my lettuce. Um, of course, in a perfect world, it would already be painted a lovely shade of green. Um, that piece is coming out by now, but I did just want to show, like, that's, I mean, I'm just like, I'm playing. I'm like playing with these things and thinking, oh, what else do I want to make on my burger? And then my mug of hot chocolate. Um, but I wanted you guys to see how I did that with the cardboard. Um, I'm just going to make a tiny little, um, I'll make a tiny little cup or a tiny little tomato just to show you how you can actually bend cardboard and make it do what you want to do. These already like remind me of french fries. I don't know. Definitely need to eat dinner soon you guys. Okay so I'm gonna just cut a long rectangle and I bet you that in some of the cardboard I gave you you will have enough pieces um, to put as long as don't throw away any scraps you know nothing is trash right. Okay. So here it is, plain rectangle. Lots of you guys got squares, rectangles in your bag. Now watch what I do to make it curl. Because if I want to put it together to make a mug like this or a tomato slice, like, mm, I don't know, that wouldn't be very comfortable to drink out of. So watch what I do. I'm squeezing it with my fingers. Hope you can see me. And it's curling. I'm just, I'm like, see, 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 push curving it with my fingers like I'm just and then you can kind of it basically I made my own by just curling it and bossing it around a little bit I made my own um just by kind of crushing through the layers of that cardboard so if I wanted to make like a little glass or a little mug this is actually a pretty good size for that I would just take my handy dandy masking tape which the hardest part is actually finding where it begins okay and I'm gonna basically attach it with this tape like I'm giving it a band-aid like here you go stay together now plenty of tape going all the way through and around. So, I mean, this could be anything, anything. And I just wanted you, here, I can still squeeze and push and roll. My thumbs are in there. I just wanted you guys to see that you really can change the shape of cardboard. Um, and then from like with this one, there's, there's a cardboard strip under here that I just bent the same way, taped it. I mean, it's like, there's a lot of tape in there, you guys. I held it together with a lot of tape. Um, but then like really quickly, let me show you how to bend this too, okay? So um, I know some of you have some pretty awesome ideas for how you are gonna make your um, pop art sculptures, but I don't want you to think everything you make has to be a square or a straight line just because it's cardboard you are in charge so out of this i am gonna go ahead and try to cut myself like a really basic circle again lumpy and bumpy and there we go right slice of tomato like yeah i could paint this red and call it a tomato but it's way more fun to make it three-dimensional so watch what i do okay little snips snip and when I say little, I just mean like a little, like snip, snip, not cut, 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 snip, 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 and snip. I don't know. Maybe I'll need another one. Maybe I won't need all of these. But what I've done is just made enough snips. I think I'm going to make it easier on myself and snip right here too. And watch. I just think of everything like a piece of clay. You've made pinch pots and all kinds of things before in the art room. So if I just squish and you notice that these 
where the slices are. I hope you can see this, okay? Look at those two slices going to overlap each other. And now it's like it's got a tiny, like a wall. Like I've made this tiny little dish. So if I put those little slices in it, you can get a lot of shape. You could make a bowl. You could make... This is just my extra tomato slice because I always say extra tomato, please. Um, this could be anything you need that you would need um, something or would like to have something round for your pop art sculpture. So these are just a couple little tricks that I wanted to show you as I got planning. And I need another piece of tape. You guys, good thing we have the whole roll. And remember, this is just the underneath. It's like the skeleton. No one is gonna see this construction zone the way it is right now. This is like the underneath. Now I have two tomato slices that are actually thick. I mean, honestly, these could be the burger too. It was gonna be a little mini slider or something, or maybe they're eyeballs. But either way, this is gonna just help my sculpture. Look at that, layer those tomatoes on there, on the, um, on the lettuce, put some bacon on there, top it off with a bun. See how this is coming together as a Mrs. Nucci's cheeseburger. Um, I'm going to need some cheese, which I'm not sure yet. I think I might just cut a square of cardboard. And I definitely need another bottom bun, which I will make out of my newspaper like I showed you today. So I'm like already picturing like, whoa, you hold this like, okay. So you can bend cardboard. You can make it do whatever you want it to do. The aluminum foil, the newspaper, the tape, all of these things are great materials to make a sculpture with. I mean, I suppose with this foil right here, I could even make myself a fork and a knife to even eat more dinner that I'm hungry for. I mean, I can start to sculpt this already into a spoon, right? Just like Klaus Oldenburg's spoon bridge when he had the cherry on the end of it, remember? So I just want you to look at all these objects that are in your bag and think of them like clay or like Play-Doh. You can really turn this stuff into anything you want. Just remember, pop art is something that everybody would recognize. So maybe not right now. This isn't saying, hi, oh my gosh, look at that yummy cheeseburger. But it is going to when it's finished, painted, and looking like you can eat it. All right. So I hope that this helped you with some little tricks to control your cardboard. Use... Use your foil. Um, I dropped my phone. So um, that's probably a cue to hang up now, but use all this greatness and use all your greatness and um, bring your sculpture back to class with you on Monday. I will see you then. You can build before then, or you can wait until Monday and we'll get it all finished up together. Okay, bye, good job. I am really excited for you.